More on this. Journalist Mohammed Mansour joins us now from London. Mohammed, good to have you with us. So critics are saying that stopping the police from speaking to the media is just another way of covering up high-level abuses. What's your feeling? Uh, my feeling is that um, um, in Nadim Center, I will speak based on statement on statistics. In Nadim Center, Egyptian uh, watchdog, docu documented 474 uh, deaths in, in, in police custody and uh, around 700 cases of torture in 2015 alone. Uh, this show that uh, um, police brutality is increasing in response to um, uh, dissent. There is um, increasing dissent in Egypt uh, because of the economic, uh, the worsening, worsening economic conditions. Um, so now there's the law. Uh, it's not only uh, regulating the movement or, or, or um, the work of the police, but also um, demand the police to respect human rights and dignity of the people. Well, well Pre President Sisi says he is doing something about this. He says he's asked the Interior Ministry to crack down on police abuses. Do you believe that this will happen, that this will improve the situation? I don't think so. Now Egypt is in a in, in, um, uh, difficult situation uh, and the uh, Sisi government want uh, police to be strong and to close, to close ranks uh, within police uh, around him. Um, so um, at the same time there is uh, brutality. Um, from his government and there's repressive policies. Uh, so I don't think um, he will be able to, um, to crack down on, on police brutality at any time. Mohammed, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts there. Mohammed Mansour speaking to us from London.